Hi, this is Joel. It's Story Pipe. Continuing our latest coverage of things controversial in the world, from the Star Tribune, some Muslims cashiers at Target refused to handle pork, setting off another debate over the place of religion in society. Beryl D'Souza was late and in no mood for delays when she stopped at a Target store after her work two weeks ago for milk, bread, and bacon. A great combination of foods. So D'Souza was taken aback when the cashier, who had on traditional headscarf or hijab worn by many Muslim women, refused to swipe the bacon through the checkout scanner. She made me scan the bacon. Then she opened the bag and made me put it in the bag, said D'Souza, 53 of Minneapolis. It made me wonder why this person took a job as a cashier. In the latest example of religious beliefs creating tension in the workplace, some Muslims in the Twin Cities are adhering to a strict interpretation of the Quran that prohibits the handling of pork products. Instead of swiping the items themselves, they are asking non-Muslim employees or shoppers to do it for them. Dr. Shah Khan, a spokesman for the Islamic Center of Minnesota in Fridley, said the Somali Muslim community is divided between those who believe it is wrong only to eat pork and more orthodox Muslims who believe the prohibition extends to selling, touching, or handling the meat. He urged people to remember that extraordinary adjustments uh, many Somalis have made in coming to the Twin Cities. Many of these people are refugees, they may, they may have been tortured, and they came here having never held a book in English. They already, they're already adapting to our society, we need to adapt to them too. I just find it strange that uh, your religion won't allow you to touch pork, but it will allow you to work at Target. <laughs> What's the deal with that? Actually, I think the problem is that today's religions, their books are really out of date, right? The Quran is a really old book, and the Bible is a really old book. I'm always waiting for like Bible 2.0 to come out, right? So that so that we can kind of get us some modern language, some stuff that makes sense for today. Because I mean, really, we waited five years, you know, late for Microsoft to put out Vista. If God's like 200 years late putting out a new Bible, I think we'll give him a pass.